all on the same page. I checked off a lot of your work, but I didn't get to look at everybody's problems. So for number 15, it says, there is one, only one freshman in the cast of, high school of a high school musical. There are six sophomores and 11 juniors. One third of the cast are seniors. How many seniors are in the musical? So we know there's one fresh. So I'm just going to do freshmen, um, sophomores, juniors, and seniors. Okay? There's one freshman, six sophomores, six sophomores, 11, ju 11 juniors, and then we don't know x, right? So I'm going to say x equals the number of seniors in the musical. Would everybody agree with me? OK. So that's going to equal our cast. That's what the cast is. OK? So in reality, we add all those up to give us the cast, which is going to be 18 plus x equals the cast. Now, it does say that the number of seniors, one third of the cast are seniors. How many of the seniors are in the musical? So we need to figure out what x is. So do you guys understand that if I was going to look at the cast, one third of that would be, how could I represent one third? What, could, what operation could you do to represent one third? Anybody? Do you multiply by three to get one third? If I have one, if I have a cup of flour and I say I want one third of that, do you multiply by three? You would divide by three. So basically, if I take here's the full cast, if I divide the cast by three, that no longer equal that equals the cast divided by three, which is equivalent to the number of seniors. So now to solve this, I get rid of my fraction by multiplying by three on both sides. And I get 18 plus x equals 3x. Then subtract by x, subtract by x. 18 equals 2x. Divide by 2, divide by 2. 9 equals x. So therefore, the number of seniors are 9. OK? Anybody have any questions so far on that?